Hello, I'm Kai from Novia Media, and this is our tutorial on how to make a soft light. Now, what a soft light's job is to do is to kind of give contrast on one side of the face uh, in opposition to what you call a hard light. This is pretty ironic because this is a really badly, um, <laughs> badly lit video. Um, but here, the the sun, the sunlight coming through here would be the hard light, and then on this side, I have the soft light, which is what I'm showing you how to make. Um, now, what a hard light does is it's often not very flattering, so if I increase the amount of hard light, I just get uglier and uglier and uglier, and I'm going to put that back because you don't want to look at me. Um, cool, and the soft light kind of gives you contrast to that. I need to go a bit further. Um, the soft light gives you contrast to that. To actually make it, um, we went down the kind of no budget route because we have no money to spend on it. So we used things that were just sort of knocking around. And I'm just going to quickly pop up a photo for you. But we were lucky enough to have a, uh, a draftsman's lamp, uh, a Stanley knife, some gaffer tape, and a colander, and an old t-shirt that Garrett had from when he worked in a bar really briefly. Uh, an old white t-shirt, I should say. Um, now, the first thing to, to do to make it is to size up like how much colander you're going to take out. So, well, you can see there, sort of, I literally put the lamp against the colander and then if I show you here, it's, um, we've got this sort of raised ridge by here and then it's the kind of first roll of, uh, row of holes, rolls, uh, first row of holes in the colander. And once you've done that, you've wrecked your colander. Um, from there then, what you want to do is just gaffer tape the colander on to the lamp and then kind of cut your t-shirt so you can uh, pop it on the front and then gaffer tape that on. Now anybody who's safety conscious is probably quite a sensible person. Um, that's why we didn't actually choose to throw a t-shirt straight onto a lamp because lamps get hot and you know, you'd be recording something or taking photos of something and then you've got a fire somewhere, like, that's your photo shoot ruined. Um, so that's why we put the colander in the middle. Um, as well, to be super duper duper safe, we chose to use an LED bulb because they don't get as hot. Um, so that, those were the kind of safety considerations for it. Uh, in retrospect, I'll probably make it a little bit neater. Um, and as well as it's probably good for like close lighting of subjects but on a really big kind of photo shoot or possibly like outside uh, if it's particularly bright then it is probably no good and you're probably looking at a kind of a bigger lamp and um, a more complicated design. I'll leave you with um, some of the photos that we took using it so we were over in a place called Guitar Sound and the guitar teacher there is a very good friend of mine called Mark and um, it made the photo shoot a lot better, it, it, particularly in terms of like post-processing, because it feels like you've got lots more, uh, lots more photo to play with in a sense. You know, you can you can move all the sliders and stuff and make things a bit more beautiful. But the, the raws were generally really good as well, which is which is super nice. And for that, we just used the ambient kind of house light, and we used um, this kind of soft light as well. Um, but yeah, so. Tell, tell me what you think, and uh, if you can think of other ways to do it, you know, I'd be really curious to, to see, because I'm, I'm up for giving it a go. Um, but as well, if, if this has helped you, then, then please, please let me know and send me some stuff of some photos or videos or anything that you've used it for. Um, yeah, and I, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.